And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, and see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. And behold, and I looked, and behold, a pale horse. And his name that sat on him was death, and hell followed with him. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword, and with hunger, and with death, and with the beast of the earth. I'm Paul Begley. Are you telling me, Paul, that the price of wheat is biblical? Absolutely. The world markets, when men's bellies get hungry, desperate measures go into play. And right now, the reason Tunisia fell was two reasons. The price of wheat went sky high, and the oppressive Muslim regimes who oppressed their people finally ran out of time. And then came Egypt, as it continues to riot in the streets as we speak. Egypt beginning to understand that they have lost control, even though they controlled with an iron fist, when people can't find food. The price of wheat has tripled. Inflation rates are skyrocketing. The global markets are in trouble. And the uprisings have begun. The fourth horseman, the pale horse, he's galloping through the land. Saddled up on him is a man by the name of death, a demon spirit, and hell is following after. And the world is in trouble. Protests are going on in Yemen. They're scheduled for Syria. They're talking about it in Jordan. They're concerned about it in Kuwait, Bahrain, and even a few women were in the streets today in Saudi Arabia. The Muslim monarchies are falling and the beast is on the brink of evolving and emerging from the outer consciousness of our own minds. The Bible prophesied it would happen, but we, we as Americans and we as Christians and we... Uh, as citizens of the global world, have not taken the time to even read the Bible. Now, I'm going to read to you for a moment, and somebody's watching me right now who's not saved. I want to say to you, you have nothing to fear but fear itself, because perfect love will cast out fear. What love am I talking about? The only perfect love in the world is the love of Jesus Christ. Call upon Him, and you can be saved. I want to read to you quickly from... Yahoo News uh, from Reuters. China has raised its interest rates today for the second time in over six weeks, intensifying a battle in the fast-expanding economy against a stubbornly high inflation that threatens to unsettle the global markets. Inflation is, is, is growing. And guess what? The United States of America, with the blessing of the Fed Chairman Bernanke and the President of the United States and the Congress, are pouring $600 billion into the market. They're printing it. They've already put about $300 billion of it in, and they got about $300 billion to go as fast as the printing presses can print. And it's not based on gold or silver. It's based on nothing, thin air. The reason they're doing it, to prop up a falling housing market. Because the housing market in America has fallen by 25%, the property values, the only way they know how to get it back up is to just raise, put money in, just throw money into the system. In other words, create an inflation, which will artificially inflate the price of the market so some of these folks can get out of their, these upside down loans, okay? It can save the banks again. But all it's going to do is put pressure on the backs of a hard-working Americans. And the unemployment rates will continue to rise. This is not the answer. Now let me just say to you. Let's go quickly to the China, to the China article. Uh, the timing on China was a surprise, coming on the final day of China's Lunar New Year holiday. 
But investors have long expected that more monetary tightening as Beijing struggles to rein in the price pressures and to ward off a, prop a property bubble in an economy that grew at a double-digit pace last year. Ben the benchmark for one-year deposit rates will be lifted, and instead of 3% inflation, the one-year lending rates are now going to go up by 6.06%. .06%. That's incredible. People's Bank of China are very concerned. Although the annual inflation slowed in December, January, here we go, as it picked up by 5.3% inflation rate in one month. That's why you have... a, a, a And you know what? So we're not doing it any favor by pouring this $600 billion into the the American market, which is just inflating our market, which is inflating everybody's market. And then, because of the global warming initiatives, America is paying the farmers a lot of money to print, I mean, excuse me, to grow corn for fuel. Now, 40% of all corn raised in America is for fuel. While we stand on our God-given blessing of Oil, we ought to be drilling, baby, drill. But instead, we're growing corn and converting it into fuel while we walk on the greatest oil reserves in the world. Does that make sense? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are they serious? And that's what's causing the uprising, the rioting. And the Bible says that it would be because of the fluctuation of the price of wheat See, that's the reason wheat's skyrocketing, because if the farmers are not planting wheat, they're planting corn. And then they're turning the, they're not eating the corn. We're, we're using it as fuel. But we got fuel we could be drilling. Thus, we're creating an inflation rate and soaring food prices. And that's creating up evil in the Middle East. The Muslim Brotherhood is going to overtake the Middle East. The Bible tells you in, ho oh my, if you just read Isaiah 19, the burden of Egypt, it'll tell you. Isaiah chapter 19 will tell you that there's going to be a new king in Egypt. Mubarak's done. You can put a fork in him. He's done. But the new king, the new president, the new ruler of Egypt will be a fierce king, a cruel lord. The Muslim Brotherhood is going to evolve not only there but the other nations surrounding it and they're all going to come against Israel fulfilling Bible prophecy and bringing us closer to the second coming of Jesus Christ. There's something biblically going on with the signs of the second coming of Jesus Christ. And it's not just the dead black birds and the, and the dead fish and the falling cows. It's the prophetic word of God being fulfilled right before our very eyes. I've run out of time. If you want to be saved, would you send me a, a personal message right now and say, Brother Begley, I want to be saved. I want to be saved. Help me be saved. I'll help you. We've got 25 that's been saved just on YouTube the last three weeks. And if you need to be saved, do that right now. We'll respond in Jesus' name. I'm Paul Begley. Pray for the people. Of, pray for the world. 